Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you my pair of VisVim Cristos that I bought brand new about a year and a half ago. This is a $740 slide. So how has it held up in that time? What are my thoughts on the shoe now? Let's talk about it. So here right in front of me is the pair I purchased. It was a spring summer 2020 shoe from VisVim. I have not cleaned these a single time. Uh, you know, mostly unintentionally, but at a certain point, kind of just decided I would make this video uh, before cleaning them. So I want to go over a few things, you know, how has the shoe held up? We'll look at the outsole here in just a second. My thoughts now on wearing these with socks, without socks. The sizing, I will not discuss too much in this video. You can go check out my review on the shoe. That also includes an unboxing of this one. And then I have another video unboxing this pair as well. But to get into this pair, again, I've had them for a year and a half. Although frankly, I did not wear them much in those first six months. I put them on a drive to go buy groceries, things like that. Uh, this, you know, for one is not a great driving shoe because it is extremely, you know, inflexible. This is a huge slab of EVA foam. You have a rubber, you know, the Vibram outsole, the slab of natural cork running through here. And then you have that smooth leather uh, insole on, on the footbed. This basically does not bend at all. It is great for shock absorption. So, you, I mean, you can walk around all day, your feet in general, you know, they're not gonna get tired. And second point to that is they do mold to your feet over time. So you can see kind of slightly, if you pull up in two separate tabs, the unboxing of this video, uh, I might stuff some photos on my Instagram. The footbed does, you know, cave in to your, to your feet over time. So that's that leather stretching and molding to your foot, as well as that natural cork bed, also molding to your feet over time. You know, this leather, it, you know, it feels really, really top notch. Although you can kind of tell here at the ends, it is starting to go out just a little bit. This end here as well, where my toes go. Um, that I believe is mostly from wearing this barefoot. And let's talk about wearing this barefoot versus with, so with socks for a second. So I said this in my other video, but especially with the, with the smooth insole versus something that originally came you know, with the leather grain out, if you are the larger end of who can wear this size, if you wear socks before they're worn in, they can very easily slip off your feet. And that's very key because you're paying $700 to $1,000 for a pair of slides. You don't want to wear something that's just going to slide off your feet. So um, at the beginning, I would wear these barefoot. But the problem with wearing these barefoot was sometimes, you know, after walking only a half a mile, sometimes after walking about two miles, which is maybe you know, half a day, my toes would rub up on, there's a section here where this nylon goes over the leather. You can kind of see where it sticks out just a little bit. This would rub up against the skin on my toes and cause blisters. So you're sort of stuck in this conundrum of if I am on the larger end of who can wear this size, if I wear socks, my feet slide out. If I don't wear socks, it's poss possible I'm gonna get blisters by rubbing up against uh, the end, the end right here. So, I mean, the, the only way to, you know, not every time I wore this barefoot did I get blisters, um, but it's definitely possible. So to solve that, you can do two things. One, you can wear socks, or two, you can size up. Those are the main things. That being said, overall, this shoe is holding up extremely well. It's built like a tank. I feel like I'm wearing a tank on my feet, and the materials all feel extremely high quality. Yes, I don't love seeing that the, the leather is wearing here, but I think that could also partly be just stretching to fit, you know, it's, start, it's stretching and molding to my foot. So I'm gonna put these aside for a second. This was a, a pair I got used. I have a whole video on it. I won't dwell on this for too long, um, but you can see, you know, sometimes the, the, uh, this footbed, they do with the leather grain out. That's definitely gonna help with uh, your feet sliding in and out of the shoes. So be careful when or be uh, you know aware when buying Christos to see if you know what kind of uh, footbed or insole it has, whether it's the smooth leather like we have over here uh, or not. But these you know I bought used. These were probably a year old when I bought them. Um, doesn't look like they were worn too much. Maybe mine are a little bit more worn. But the Vibram outsole in general are going to last an extremely long time. Um, you can technically get these uh, have a new outsole put on them if you go to like a cobbler. Uh, although they're not uh, very easily replaceable, um, but the uppers are gonna last you a lifetime. Um, and then the last thing I would say on cleaning, 
forget if I said this or not, but I cleaned these in a video. You can actually see just a little bit. Um, maybe see better over here. Right here. Also, just in general, a little bit around. I use hard bristles, a hard brush when cleaning these. You can use really any cleaner, cleaning solution with water uh, when cleaning your Christos, because this is a nylon upper. Um, but I would use a medium hardness brush. I, if I could go back in time, I would buy like the Rejuvenator kit, which comes with soft, medium, hard bristles. Um, unfortunately, I just had the Jason Mark kits, uh, which just had the, the hard brush, what I had. Um, could I go back in time? I'd use the medium, medium uh, stiffness, you know, bristles, and then you can go at this basically as hard as you want. Um, obviously, you know, use very soft bristles when touching the suede, getting any hairs out from these inner, you know, crevices. Um, other than that, you know, I still really like the shoe. Is it worth $740? Personally, you know, I'm a huge fan of the look. I'm a huge fan of the brand, huge fan of Hiroki Nakamura. So to me, I think the price holds up. Although the, my largest, largest gripe is that for the size large, you know, I can't really wear these barefoot without a fear of getting blisters and having to go home and put on socks or something like that. Um, and it just takes a really long time to break these in. Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I can't wait to reply to any comments, answer any questions you may have, and I'll see you guys next time.